Miracle Beauty. Um, I want to do one of my unboxings. I actually have quite a few unboxings here that I plan to do film tonight, but I want to do one that is new to me. This is the Macy's Beauty Box. So it comes in a bag just like this. It actually is enclosed in either a plastic bag, like kind of like a seat or it's a box. And inside you get the explanation booklet that pretty much all the bags do now that gives you information. And it also comes wrapped in tissue paper. So once you take everything out, the bag is completely see-through. First thing I see is Clarins UV Plus Anti-Pollution Broad, Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. So I have been experimenting with a lot of sunscreens right now, so this is pretty cool. I actually had a Clarins like gift pack that I previously had that I absolutely love. I just finished my face wash recently. So if you open it, it is just a small tube and it looks like normal sunscreen is just a white cream. It does have almost like a fine lotion or a night lotion feel to it. Next I see Renewed Hope in a Jar by Philosophy. This is a peeling mousse, instant glow facial. And it does look like this. This one I'm going to be very, very sparing with because of what type it is. I don't know if that's even going to pick up. It's like a little blue cream. And just feels kind of like a gel or a serum. Next, I see Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper, 90% fuller lips, 97% of lips feel hydrated. And don't, oh, this is clear. So typically, I actually don't use lip plumbers. I spoke multiple times on my channel about this, but actually I'm wearing one today. This is, and my lips is the ColourPop, um, and now I forgot what they're called the new ones I just came out with. So the ColourPop ones actually have more of a mint base. They don't have that burning feeling or anything like that. It smells almost like chocolate. Curious, very curious. Next I see it's a Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Um, this looks like to be a sample, not a travel size as it is only this big. So I'm actually gonna go into a different place in my hand because. I actually own this primer and it's funny because I didn't use it for a really long time because it just felt like I was putting another moisturizer on and then I got that dry winter skin and became my best friend. So Too Faced Hangover. Then also in here is Tarte's Light Camera and Splashes. It is their waterproof version of their Lights Camera Lashes which is one of my absolute favorite mascaras. I don't Love waterproof ones, but we'll see. I'll give it a try. I'm not opening it yet though because I have a ton open right now. Is I'm not sure if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly, but is Machino or I think it's Machino Toy 2 and it is a perfume. It smells really sweet. It smells good. It smells really sweet. So that is the July macy's beauty bag and um i would say for the price that i paid for it which i believe it was ten dollars and eighty cents with tax i think i got a great deal for these samples um there was one two three four five six samples in it so that's less than two dollars each i feel like it's a good value and i don't have any problem ordering it in the future if i it's kind of like birchbox this is brand new to me i've never ordered it before if i do start seeing issues as far as products things like that then maybe i'll consider leaving it but for me ten dollars if i get samples of things that i can try that i can check out and see if it's what i'm looking for then i'm always down to pay that i will say that um being a new box it's kind of, it's easy to be pleased when it's new. It's when you've had it for six months, eight months, 10 months, 12 months that you start seeing if there are issues or that 
you start realizing that a lot of the boxes have duplicates in between them and each brand does their own picking of products. So I don't blame them. I'm the one that has a million subscription boxes, but I did want to point out one other thing about this. So inside the little like brochure that you get, it does give the full price of the, if you were to buy a new one, but it also has a $5 off coupon so that in your beauty purchase use in store or online. So that is an additional, I mean, if you spend five dollars and I mean if you get five dollars free then you've only paid five dollars for the box so I do think that that's um an interesting thing so if I go through the prices because I always do it at the wrong time because I suck um the philosophy renewed hope this is the peeling mousse that one is thirty five dollars new the Clarins um sunscreen third forty three dollars <laughs> I had a problem buying this Era V one. I'm definitely not going to be investing in that. Just saying. Too Faced Hangover is $34. Um, full size again, $34. Then we have the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. That one is $23. I am not a huge proponent of high-end mascaras, even though I will say my two absolute favorites, or three favorites, are high-end. I normally think that the drugstore pretty much has everything that you could want you don't have to go expensive but I do love the regular version of this I think that it lifts and separates my lashes I think it looks good I think it's just overall a really fantastic mascara so then the other thing was the grande lip plumpers this is 27 new I'm getting out of buying any lip products because I have way too many however one thing I am looking at anything over $20 I question like Dose of Colors lipsticks are some of my absolute favorite lipsticks. Some of the best lipsticks on the market, in my opinion, $18. So $27 for a plumping lip gloss is ridiculous, in my opinion. And then the perfume would be, for 1.7 ounces, would be $76. Now, as a perfume junkie, I both almost revolt at the price, but also understand it because high end, I mean, my Gucci one was 126. So 76 isn't a horrible price for something. So that is the July Macy's beauty box. And I will be posting my other ones as I get them. Um, so August when it comes out post as well. Wow. Just got the itty bitties out there. Um, I'll post my August when it comes and then we'll just kind of play it by ear and see if I continue the box. I appreciate you watching. I hope that you ring the bell for notifications after you hopefully subscribe. I do hope if you like this video, you will like it. Our likes actually go a little bit further than our subscribing and things like that. So it's really appreciated if you do like and share the video. I hope you have a great day.